guys welcome back or to my channel today's video I'm going to be doing my annual reptile room tour I currently have six reptiles of my own three amphibians and then three fosters two being in my pet room currently that you guys are gonna see later I have been working on my pet room very hard for the past few months, uh, getting it to where I want to. I've been redoing some enclosures, making them more naturalistic and nicer for my animals, as well as I decorated for Christmas, so this is Christmas edition. Speaking of Christmas, I know it is really difficult to figure out gifts for your friends and family, but I think jewelry is always one of those things that is so personalized, and there's so many options out there, but I honestly think Ana Luisa has some of the best products and options for you. If you're like me and you appreciate nature and animals, they are super eco-friendly as well as carbon neutral, so that's really, really cool and something I find very admirable. Their jewelry is also ethnically sourced, so again, it is awesome for people and the planet. I love Ana Luisa because they have so many options for everybody they have really classic and just beautiful timeless jewelry as well as they also have some trendy kind of edgy jewelry which I love because I do appreciate both those categories and it's hard to find really good high quality brands that offer both I am absolutely in love with their brand and I love the options they give for people and how specialized everything is. They also have amazing quality for their prices. They have so many options and their website's very clean. They're very easy to navigate and they're just very nice people in general. I know so many websites that I have not gone through buying certain things because the website is sketchy or I do not like what the people stand for, but I'm absolutely obsessed with how eco-friendly their jewelry is as well as how beautiful it is. They have zodiac signs. They actually have a few reptile options such as their boa earrings for example and again they have really timeless beautiful gold jewelry that is very simple but you can also find some really cool pieces on there that is a statement which I absolutely love. Click the link in the description if you're interested in checking out their website. They have such awesome products and make perfect perfect Christmas gifts for everyone. And they have such a variety. They have earrings to necklaces to bracelets. They just have such an awesome variety of jewelry and I have my necklace on right now and I am just absolutely obsessed with their products. The link to their website is in the description. Check it out soon so you can get your gifts and maybe even a gift for yourself before Christmas time. So today I'm going to show you my entire reptile condo that I have custom built along with a few other glass enclosures in my entire room dedicated to my exotics. With every Everything being said, we're going to jump in and start looking at my reptile room. This is the first thing you see when you walk into my pet room. Over to the right, right away, I have my weighing table along with just some decorations and my current foster leopard gecko. This is Venus's enclosure. She's in a front opening 20 gallon exoterra. She has multiple different hides and enrichment in her enclosure. She also has loose substrate at the moment. I wanted to give her loose substrate since she's a very explorative gecko and I wanted to enrich her as much as possible while she's here for the next few months. Here is Venus. As you can see, she is an absolute stunning girl. We don't know her exact morph, but she is definitely not a normal and she is just absolutely drop dead gorgeous. Anyways, next to Venus's enclosure, I just have a bunch of junk, like a tripod and just some extra enclosure stuff. Over to the side here, I have a closet, which has absolutely nothing to do with reptiles. It just has a bunch of extra stuff in there, so there's nothing interesting going on in there. And above the closet, there's this really cute hamster sticker, and above my TV over Venus's enclosure, she has I have this awesome pet room sign and just a clock and some decor. Immediately to the right of the closet door I have my reptile build that me and my dad made. I still plan to make a video on it soon but I need to get around to it and I was making a lot of different adjustments to the condo. We're going to look at every animal and I'll show you their enclosure and them in depth but first we're going to start down at the bottom right. This enclosure belongs to one of my few leopard geckos. This is Maisie, my three to five year old female possible carrot tail leopard gecko. Her substrate currently consists of a half sand, half topsoil consistency, along with some hay on top just to dry it out a little bit extra. 
Maisie also has a huge variety of wood in here along with one live snake plant and multiple different fake plants for enrichment. I've made many different videos on Maisie so you can go back to learn her story and how she came to be where she is now. She is just an awesome leopard gecko, super explorative and very food motivated. She almost has some dalmatianing pattern along with a beautiful orange and then she is this pretty creamsicle color on the rest of her body. Over to the left of Maisie's enclosure is my girl Stella's enclosure. She is an Indonesian blue tongue skink and she is currently living in a 50 by 20 by 22 or about 90 gallons of space. Stella currently has two hides and a cork log along with some wood and fake plants for enrichment. This is Stella. Stella is almost two feet long or probably about two feet. She's currently shedding, so I'm not going to keep her out long. She is a beautiful, beautiful blue tongue skink. She is almost two years old, so she is pretty much full grown at this point, and she is probably around four or 500 grams. This first enclosure is Luna's. She is set up very similar to Maisie's. They both have the same 50-50 sand and topsoil mix along with some hand top for more enrichment and then she has a variety and assortment of plants and decor along with hides. I won't keep her out too long, but this is Luna. She is a normal morph leopard gecko and she is an absolute beauty. She also has been known for being obese ever since I got her a few years ago. She was just very overweight and she has been on a diet ever since. Um, she's not the happiest being out, so I'm gonna let her go back now, but she is a beautiful specimen of leopard gecko. Next to Luna is Fletcher's enclosure. He is a Murphy's patternless male leopard gecko. I have had him for coming up to be two years now. And he also has the same bedding that Luna and Maisie do. And he also has a live snake plant. I really wanna turn his enclosure into more of a bioactive in the future, but I need to do some research. He also has a custom background that I've made along with Luna and I'm absolutely loving their enclosures and their backgrounds and they seem to really like their backgrounds as well. This here is Fletcher. He is my Murphy's Patternless Leopard Gecko. He is about three or four years old and he is absolutely beautiful. I'm quite obsessed with him. He's a very cute boy and he's probably the chillest, if not one of the chillest of my animals. Ace's enclosure is 12 by 22 by 40 inches tall, so he has a lot of height to climb and a good amount of space going back. This is Ace, my crested gecko. He is a almost full pinstripe Harley Quinn crested gecko and he is a beautiful, beautiful boy. He has this gorgeous olive color when fired down, but he can go all the way to like a dark chocolate color when he is fired up. Crested geckos are known for jumping and being very, very active. Uh, he is a pretty chill boy for a crested gecko. Final enclosure in the build is next to Ace's enclosure. This is my bearded dragon Zeus's enclosure. He is in a five foot by 22 inches back by 20 inches tall. Zeus is a citrus bearded dragon, so that means that he is his yellow pigment color. Zeus was my first ever reptile and he is the only bearded dragon that I own personally. He is shedding currently on his mouth, so please ignore that. And he also 
just got a cage clean yesterday and he has already destroyed his cage if you cannot tell next to my reptile condo i just have a trash can and this really small cat tower that i have sometimes when i am monitoring my cat he's allowed to come in here but it's kind of it was kind of for zeus to climb on but he never climbs on it and then i have this really pretty screened door along next to it is my chair that i chill in which is awesome for holding my Ana Luisa necklaces when I am filming. This is my little Christmas section I currently set up. I have some cute strobe lights on here with a few sticker Santa hats. I put on some of the paintings over here and I have a Merry Christmas sign along with a holiday sign and a little Santa. It's so cute, isn't it? I'm quite obsessed with this area right now. Below is this 20 gallon long enclosure that I have for one of my foster leopard geckos. This is Kai's enclosure. She is staying with me over the winter and I am nursing her back to health. She needs to gain a little bit of weight still, but she's a beautiful girl and I'm going to show you guys her. Kai was being housed with another female leopard gecko and they both had MBD sadly and were both on the thinner side. Eva's already gone to her new home in California since she needed a little bit less TLC but Kai is doing super well still and I am very excited for her to be fully nursed back to health hopefully within the next month or two and then she can be ready for adoption in the springtime when it's warm. Next to Kai's enclosure is my White's Tree Frog enclosure. This is a 75 gallon tank holding three male White's Tree Frogs. And above it is a painting I made about a year or so ago of my bearded dragon and then their thermostat and some paintings along the side of their enclosure that's irrelevant. They're just there for storage. Under their enclosure holds a variety of my supplies like some extra decor, some calcium, my tongs, some crested gecko food, as well as cleaning supplies, water, paper towels, etc. So basically just most of my supplies I store in here. This is Bottom. He is one of my white tree frogs and the newest white tree frog I've gotten. He is just a blue eyed boy or either maybe a golden, um, which is just a light honey. Um, he is a beautiful boy and he is very funny and absolutely adores eating. So I'm going to let Bottom go back to bed and chill and that is him. This is Homer. Homer is one of the first white tree frogs I got. I got him and his brother Bubba on Craigslist. They both needed some rescuing and were just being housed in insufficient conditions. But he's here now chilling in a 75 gallon with his two brothers and he is just absolutely living it up. This is the final boy. This is Bubba. Bubba was also with Homer when I got them. Um, he is a very chunky boy. He's the biggest of all my white tree frogs and he adores food and sleeping. That is my entire pet room and I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing it and I'm very proud of how it is coming along and my enclosures. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I've put so much effort into this room and I am very proud of how it is coming along. There's still some things I'd like to do to my animals enclosures in the future, like more upgrades if I can, along with I want to change my bearded dragon to loose substrate and look more into bioactive enclosures for my exotics. Anyways, thank you again for watching and please be sure to check out Ana Luisa and their website, which I again have linked in the description along with their social medias. They have really really beautiful jewelry. I will see you guys next week. I love you so much. Stay possum. Bye guys.